According to the Mayor of London, our planet is on fire. This is the end of the world as we know it. It's not about prediction about the future. This is about right now. He's saying our planet is on fire. In this video, we're going to be debunking Sadiq Khan's idiotic claims with facts and logic. Let's talk about Sadiq Khan's tweet. He said, our planet is on fire. We can be the generation of leaders who truly get the enormity of the task or dither and delay until it's too late. I love how they've now learned from their mistakes uh, in the past. They used to uh, say, well, we actually have only 12 months left. Well, we have two weeks left. Well, no, I think we have six months left. So now they're avoiding to say that in the tweets because uh, every single time they say that they get exposed. Uh, so this time he just said, we have to do it now. Just make it simple. We're going to do it now. Otherwise, we're basically, it's too late. This is a response to the United Nations new climate chief who basically said uh, that the planet is uh, boiling. Global boiling is happening. Now, there are a few problems with this. First things first, this is the cover of the Evening Standard with their report. Look at the cover. Look at Project Fear. Look at this nonsense. They got uh, photos of Rishi Sunak and Modi and uh, Xi Jinping and Joseph uh, Sleepy Joe. And these guys are clearly the only leaders that can save the world, right? And that's the image of uh, the, the, well, our planet. I'm guessing these are live footage from space. <laughs> now the problem with this is that it goes hand in hand with the, the propaganda narrative from the mainstream media. Like, I mean, there are a lot of memes around on social media. This is my favorite one, BBC weather. The whole of the UK is on fire. <laughs> the whole of the UK is all boiling. It's all going away. This is the end of the world as we know it. Funny story, Kent. It's the end of the world. God loves you. He's gonna kill you. Now, I think it's time to talk about some facts. Again, things happen and the uh, climate has been changing for over the last few centuries. And uh, we, we are also not really saying that we shouldn't care about the environment. Everybody cares about the environment. We want clean air and clean water. So all those people are accusing us of just basically denying basic facts and basic humanity. Like, just shut up because that's not the, that's not the point. The problem we have is with the proposed policies of net zero and globalization. This is just nonsensical. We are attacking the policies. Look at this, for example. This is the, the graph that we have from NASA, global burned areas between 2001 and 2022. Look at the percentage of uh, the, the global burned areas. Uh, in 2001, it was uh, about uh, well, 2.9 close to close to 2.8 and it went up to you know obviously above three percent and then we now have the recent years it's come down and in 2022 it is currently at 2.2 percent and especially this year and last year we had a lot of uh arsons and a lot of uh, issues with that as well we're going to get into that in a second but even in america they're getting a lot of attacks the u.s air emissions look at what's happened since 1970 and in 2020 the reduction has been crazy and now they're basically claiming that uh, carbon di um, monoxide has actually gone the other way around and everything actually the you know dioxide and monoxide everything's going up but it's actually not going up talk about the facts these are the stats from the united nations and nasa and the u.s government the same people who've been spreading the same project fear you have to look at this the uk has the sixth wettest july on record this is according to official figures this, this came out last week, uh, the 1st of August. That was the report about the July that we had. It was the wettest July since 2009. So things change. We know that. It goes up and down. But now they are basically claiming that this summer, that summer 2023, we are boiling. And it's not just about the UK because they were going to be like, well, no, no, no. They're not talking about the actual. You're focusing on one country. No, no, I'm talking about the average around the world. Like... <laughs> Even Spain and Portugal, even North Africa, we're talking about that, not Scotland. So, one of the areas that focus, uh, they focus on is climate-related deaths, saying that that's gone up. But it hasn't. You can see the figures where between 1920 and now, 2020, uh, and about this, this new decade. Look at the figures, the global death per year, average per decade. It was about half a million, um, about well, 100 years ago. And it's come down to tens of, uh, well, it's about, it's about uh, 40,000 at this point. So that's also massive progress. But no, 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 that's not going to be mentioned. Absolutely not. 
even though we are making progress when it comes to just basic clean environment without the need for the net zero policies. The world is burning ever less fire and is there ever more in the news. This is the comparison, by the way, this is funny actually. <laughs> <laughs> NASA satellite data. On the left, you can see the actual burnt area percentage that we showed earlier. So that's uh, the, the orange one is what we showed earlier. So it's gone down where between 2000 and 2021, 2022, it's now 2.2%. But on the right hand side, we've got the frequency per million worldwide. This is the actual report um, in the news about the wildfire. The report of wildfire around the world has gone up massively, while the, the reality, the actual wildfires around the world has gone down. <laughs> I mean, you can see what's going on with the way they shape uh, uh, the, the narrative and their propaganda. This is a warning nonsense alert meme. The era of global boiling is here. And you can see the <laughs> kettle. <laughs> so it's quite kind of funny. One of the areas that we have is that a lot of these people are saying, but this is just natural wildfires. No, it's not. It's already been exposed in Greece and other places that it's been arson. Now we have a new campaign. Just stop arson. Yes, forget about just stop oil. Let's push this new campaign. Just stop arson and protect our wildfire. <laughs> but no, none of this is going to be mentioned in the mainstream media or the corporate media. Why not? It doesn't suit their narrative, does it? But this channel will continue to expose them with actual stats and facts. And we're going to give you some common sense. If, with your support. Thank you so much for everything you've done for us so to keep going and continue our work. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.